Hello, welcome to a short introduction of the Joy-Cone Industrial Wastewater Pretreatment System Design, presented by Megan Eisenach, Rachel Haney-Smith, Gabrielle LeBlanc, and Gabriella Sandu of Honeycomb Engineering. Joy-Cone Ice Cream Cone Factory produces roughly 585 million ice cream cones per year at their facility. They additionally produce 500,000 gallons of industrial wastewater, which is currently being discharged to the public sanitary sewer of Flagstaff. Our client is Lane Fisher, who's the plant engineer at Joycone, and he has asked us to design a new pretreatment system to reduce the loads of total Keldall nitrogen, biological oxygen demand, and total suspended solids in their industrial wastewater. They currently have an existing detention basin on site and are interested in using it in their final design. The Joycone facility is located in Southern Flagstaff along the I-17 near the airport. And on the right-hand side, the Joycone facility can be seen as well as the location of the current detention area and the sanitary sewer discharge point. The final design is split into two phases with the first phase being a pretreatment system before effluent is discharged to a constructed weapon. The first phase uses the two existing equalization tanks on site and adds a third tank to create a fill and draw system that will act as a sequencing batch reactor, reducing DOD and TSS concentrations before entering the wetland. This, this slide shows a profile view of the vertical subsurface wetland design where the water will run through the media from the top to the bottom and then pumped out to the sewer system. This, this slide shows the plan view of the basin. The wetland will be on the right side of the basin and the storm water, water will be rerouted to the other portion of the basin to keep it from being contaminated. This table shows the final effluent concentrations coming out of the wetland into the sanitary sewer with 0.134 pounds per day of DOD, 125 milligrams per liter of TKN, and 0.001 pounds per day of TSS in the winter, and 0.02 pounds per day of DOD, 15 milligrams per liter of TKN, and 0.001 pounds per day of TSS in the summer. As you can see, these are all well below their current permit limits. This is a cost analysis, and this table displays the itemized list uh, for both phase one and phase two. The phase one total came out to $106,574. The phase two total came out to $117,300, and it all came out to a total cost of $223,874. Thank you for watching.